Hey guys, Cece here, and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to create a macrame hat hanger. Now, these hat hangers are so quick and easy to make. I've made a pattern that's very simple to follow, so you should be able to whip one of these up in about 10 minutes, and that way you can get your hats beautifully displayed up on your wall. So for this project, you'll need two things. The first thing you'll need is a ring of some sort. So I'm using a wooden ring today, but you could also use a metal ring. And you're also going to need three cords cut to two meters in length each. And the cord that I'm using today is a three millimeter twisted cotton cord in a three strand. So to start, you just need to grab one of your two meter cords, fold it in half, and then attach it to your ring using a lark's head knot. Now just repeat this with the other two cords. And you should have three cords attached to your ring that looks like this. So now we're just gonna create a nice and easy diamond pattern here. So starting with the third chord from the left and we're just going to hold that on our diagonal across the other strings and then i'm going to use the second chord from the left and create a double half hitch and then grabbing the first chord and creating a double half hitch Now I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So taking the third chord from the right, holding it across the other chords on a diagonal, then grabbing the second chord from the right and creating a double half hitch. And then that first chord creating another double half hitch. So now I'm going to grab the two chords on the left and the two chords on the right. And I'm going to use these four chords to create a square knot around the middle two chords here. So this square knot will be a nice chunky square knot. Now that I've finished that, I am going to grab that first chord on the left, hold it on a diagonal downwards across the other chords, grab the next chord and create a double half hitch knot with this chord. and then grabbing the next chord along and creating a double half hitch knot with this chord. I'm gonna repeat the same on the other side. So grabbing the first chord on the right, holding it on a diagonal, and then grabbing the next chord and creating a double half hitch. next chord along and again creating a double half hitch. And then I'm just going to join these two diagonal lines together by continuing to bring this chord down on a diagonal and then grabbing that third chord in and creating a double half hitch with that chord.
and you should be left with this cute little diamond pattern. I'm just going to repeat this whole pattern a second time. So again, starting with the third chord from the left, pulling it on a diagonal across the other chords and then creating a double half hitch with these two chords. Grabbing the third chord from the right, holding it on a diagonal and then creating another two double half hitches. Grabbing the two chords from the left and the right and then creating a square knot with these chords. This time I'm going to change the direction of my square knot though. So this time I'm using a left facing square knot, whereas up here I used a right facing square knot. If you're not sure on the difference between this square knot and this square knot, make sure you check out my tutorial on how to improve your square knot, which I will leave the link in the description below for. Finally, just finishing the bottom half of our diamond. And finally, just joining these two lines together in the center with a final double half hitch. So there is the top half of our hat hanger all finished. So for this next step, what we have to do is measure the circumference of our hat. And mine was 62. And then we divide this number by two and that's how far down we need to measure. So for me, that would be 31. So just measuring all the way down to 31, which is about here. And what we wanna do is grab the two chords from the left and the two chords from the right, and again, creating another one of those chunky square knots. And then I like to do another square knot, just for good luck. So you'll have a little vertical row of two square knots. So how easy was that guys? A beautiful, simple hanger that you can pop up on your wall to display your hats in. And the only other thing that I've done to finish this off is just trim the ends down the bottom so they're all the same length. Now we just need to pop the hat in. So to pop in your hat, all you need to do is make sure you have three cords on one side and three cords on the other side. And we're just going to slide the hat in like so. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial, guys. It's a great way to display your hats rather than having them lost in a cupboard somewhere. Now, you can also make these hat hangers in a two tier or even go extravagant for three or four tier hangers. But stay tuned for my next video because I will be showing you a more advanced pattern, which also includes a second tier so you can hang two hats up at the same time. Thanks so much for watching guys, I really hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and here's to finding our peace and creativity.